Hey what's up it's Hugo here and I know, I know I haven't made a video in a year and a half but that's why I'm making one now to make up to it. Uh, I did announce a few videos back that I won't be making much videos in the upcoming month which is still the case but I thought I'll just make a, a quick one right now just to uh, you know uh, kind of uh, put something on my channel because uh, I haven't made videos in a super long time so probably a lot of you guys have unsubscribed or not watching anymore or whatever but let's get right into it because today I want to talk to you guys about Total Finder. It's a really, really awesome uh, plugin, I guess, or modification to your Finder uh, on your Mac. So let me uh, get right into it. I'm going to show you what it does, uh, how you set it up, the options and stuff like that. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give away a few copies. I've used Total Finder for quite a long time already, and I've always wanted to make a video about it, but I was just waiting until I can make a giveaway at the same time about it because I thought, you know, that'd be cool for you guys. Um, but let's get right into it. If I open my Finder window here, just as usual, you'll notice right away the main feature of Total Finder is the tabs at the top. Uh, you probably think they're kind of like Google Chrome or like uh, Safari or whatever you use for browser. Well, that's pretty much it. You can have as many types in your Finder here. So you can have as many tabs as you want. But you know, you just have one Finder window, which is really, really cool because you don't need to clutter your desktop with a bunch of windows everywhere. Uh, because you only have one and you can have a bunch of tabs open on them. But then you might ask, how do you drag a file or a folder from one windows to another? Well, it's pretty simple. You simply go uh, to the folder you want to move or the file. Uh, you click and hold or drag to another tab and drop it there. But there's even a better way to do this. You can actually link two tabs together. And this is where it gets interesting. If you have two tabs like, like here next to each other and you want to link them, simply double click on one of them and you'll see that they will automatically link here in the middle. Now, whichever you double click, it will always link with the one that's on the right of it. So let's say I double click this one, it will automatically link with that one. So that's pretty cool, it's a good thing to know. But uh, as you can see, you have two Finder windows at the same time in one window. That's pretty awesome, right? So the cool thing about that, you can just uh, go ahead and go wherever you want in your uh, hard drive here and go wherever you want in here and then you can just go ahead and start dragging files and folders around which is really really handy if you want to kind of organize your stuff so I think that's a really really awesome feature you can do it by simply double clicking or using a uh, command U on your keyboard also works and uh, let me just go ahead and go into the preferences of total finder if you go into finder preferences you'll see here you have a little total finder tab and there you can have all the little extra features and tweaks and options of total finder uh, the first feature you'll see here is the visor feature. It's pretty cool. I used it from time to time in the past. I kind of stopped using it now, but it's still definitely very, very handy. And as you can see, as soon as I activate it here, a, a little finder window pops up. And uh, you can see at the top left here, it has kind of a weird button that you're not used to. You can click on it and it becomes like this or unclick it. Uh, but like this, it will always stay on uh, on your screen. So whichever, if I, if I want to go to, uh, for example, uh, my browser here, my Google Chrome, you'll see that the window is still behind here. If I unactivate this, you'll see that if I go back to Google Chrome, it disappears, but it's not gone. Uh, that's the cool thing about it. You can set a hotkey here in the preferences. As you can see, I've set it here to option space because I thought that was pretty handy. Once you set that up, you can simply uh, do option space and you'll see it whooping down from the bottom of your screen. It's pretty awesome. You can resize it to whenever you want and it will always keep that size. You can go to a certain uh, folder for example if you go to uh, a, a folder very deep down in your uh, a hard drive and you put it away uh, and you do whatever you want you do something else and then you go back and you do option space again it will still be exactly on that folder which is pretty cool and it will still be exactly the same size you left it so pretty cool feature you have quite a few options for it you know obviously you can set the hotkey uh, you can set the animation if you want it to fade or not how much time blah 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 a lot of different options so that's really cool the next here, uh, the next tab here is uh, a sepsis, I think. Uh, this feature has been removed from um, Total Finder because it was in old versions, but it used to uh, be able to manage like DS store files. If you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. You don't need to know about it. But anyway, the next uh, tab here is tweaks. So that's pretty straightforward. Just tweaks options of Total Finder in general. Uh, there's quite a few options here. You can do so sh show system files, which is obviously going to show all the system files, such as hidden folders, files, blah 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 blah. Um, so if you uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, <laughs> you can go ahead and do that. It's not really useful except if you really want to change something specific 
uh, deep down in your hard drive or something, but otherwise you, you wouldn't really need it. Uh, folders on top, that's definitely handy if you want to have uh, your folders always on top separated from the files. Let me just quickly show you what I mean by that. If I go to a folder here that has tons of different folders, but also tons of different files, and I just do all, uh, folders always on top, you'll see that I automatically change all my folders will be on top and all the rest will just be my files. So that's pretty cool if you like that kind of stuff. Uh, kind of remembers me of Windows also had that, uh, yeah, that option, I think. So then we have always maximize, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, toggle dual mode, that's what I showed you previously. It's uh, to link two tabs together and have uh, two different sides of the finder window. Uh, you can do that by double clicking the tab or using command U. I already mentioned that uh, before. Then you have a few options here. Hide icon in menu bar, which I have done, but if you want, you don't need to. Uh, it just uh, creates here a little icon in your menu bar and you can straight go into the preferences of Total Finder straight from your menu bar. Uh, since I have Total Finder always on, I uh, decided to hide that because I, I tend not to go into the preferences too much once it's set up. Uh, keep original I uh, doc icon. So you'll see by default, I think this is unchecked. But if you, uh, if I'll show you what it means. If I uncheck it here, it will automatically modify your finder window into the total finder icon, which is actually pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. It's just a finder icon with a little tab. Uh, but I've customized it personally to my nice and pink uh, finder icon that you saw previously. But now my uh, pink icon is gone, unfortunately. Then you have a few experimental uh, options here. Uh, the first one is Freelance Windows. Now, personally, I've tried to figure out what exactly uh, this does, but I haven't really figured out. I'm guessing it does something like separate all the windows uh, that, are, that are open or something like that, but I haven't really figured out. I tried enabling, disabling it, and seeing what, what, what changes, but uh, I haven't figured it out. Uh, next up, we do have a few other ones. Uh, use in our tabs bar. No, that's pretty straightforward if you open a window here. Finder window, I'm just gonna make this a little smaller. There we go. If you use uh, narrow tabs bar, you'll see uh, the top here will just become a little smaller and it will become uh, really tiny. I, I don't really like it because it, it gets really small here. So I tend to just uh, leave it like normal. Uh, shortcut and paste buttons in context, uh, context menus. If you uh, check that, you'll see that in a, if you press on the little gear here, you have the cut, copy, paste uh, buttons, which can be really handy. Uh, I personally do not use that because I just use Command C, Command V on my keyboard to cut and copy and paste. By the way, cut on your keyboard is Command X, if you didn't know. Um, so next up we have allow path copying in context menus. I think this is pretty handy. Uh, you might not use it as much, but it's really handy if you post, for example, in forms or something. Uh, you want to have your path right away. You don't need to like go and get info and copy it. You can just do it straight from the finder. So if I enable that here, you'll notice that whichever file or folder I go to. So let me just go in here, for example. I can just right click uh, this folder and copy path. And you can copy in many different ways here. Terminal path, for example. And uh, that will copy it to your clipboard, so whenever you paste it somewhere, uh, it will do this pretty much. Uh, you'll have the path straight to uh, the file or the folder. So that's pretty cool. And that's really all the features that Total Finder has. So that's a lot of them. But uh, let's get right into the giveaway, shall we? Now, the giveaway is pretty straightforward. Uh, please go ahead and like this video if you did enjoy it. But of course, I cannot check that. But of course, that's appreciated. I just wanted to say that before the giveaway. Uh, but go ahead and subscribe to my channel that you do need to do and uh, favorite the video if possible if you liked it I'm not gonna force you to do that or anything and the last thing you need to do to actually get an entry into the uh, Giveaway simply go ahead and comment down below um, Total dash your comment so I just do total dash your comment and you'll be entered into the giveaway and I'll be announcing the winners probably in about two weeks time So that's pretty much all you need to do know about Total Finder and how to win it. I'm giving away three copies, so there'll be three winners. Ha, smart. Uh, be sure to check it out if you want it right away, Total Finder, you don't want, do not want to enter the giveaway, you just think it's a really, really cool uh, application or, or plugin for your Finder. You can actually download a 14-day trial to try it out for yourself. All the features are in there and stuff, so that's pretty cool. And if you really, really like it, of course, you can buy it, which I highly recommend, because I think it's awesome. The link to uh, this page where you can buy it and download the trial will be in the description as well as the link to my wallpaper since I know you guys always ask that. Uh, lastly, please follow me on Twitter, uh, like me on Facebook and circle me on Google+.
and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Peace.